Hi everyone, it's Kristen Ballister with Usborne Books and More, and this video is going to talk about a little bit of something for everyone. So a lot of different books, starting with our little infants, going all the way up for our teenagers. So first we're going to start off with On the Farm. This is a great introductory book, especially when your little ones are starting with tummy time. So they fold out to these beautiful black and white pages. And whether you know or not, infants only see black and white at first. So they'll be really attracted to these pages. And then as they learn the world around them, they can point to all the different animals. Again, folds out. Just a really cute book to start your infant off with on the farm. The next is one of our That's Not My. This is the 50th book um, in that series. This is That's Not My Unicorn. And as you can see, even the front cover has texture. So its mane is too fluffy. So as the child goes on to flip the pages, that's not my unicorn, its ears are too soft. So this is a great infant nine month and up book, nice thick pages, it's gonna be very durable and stand the test of time. The next is one of our many, Lift the Flap. Very first questions and answers, what is poop? Now, you may laugh at all of my shows. Everybody always picks this up and looks through it. This is probably one of my most popular sellers. Um, this is great for kids not only to learn about the subject poop, but it's also great for their fine motor skills. They can lift the flap. Just beautiful color illustrations, just really cute and inviting for the child to see. Again, we'll lift another flap here. Again, nice, durable, thick, glossy pages. So again, if they get a little sticky, you just take a, a wet cloth and clean them off very easily. The next one is one of our many peek inside books. This is Cinderella. These are beautifully layered books. Not only does it tell a story, but again, fine motor skills. They have the lift the flaps where you, you can get more information within. And again, as each page flips, you can see more and more into that last page. So really sweet peek inside a fairy tale, Cinderella. Our next one is one of our Usborne sound books. This is garden sounds. We also have um, orchestra and farm. So here the child would just, the parent would read and then the child can press the buttons. And as you can hear the beautiful garden sounds, let's do another one. So really cute garden sounds. The next one, I'm getting a lot of requests for space books. We got a lot of kiddos interested in space. So this is our very first space book we have so many different space books, but this is a beginner one. So again, uh, this would be for a parent to read um, to a child. So the night sky, when the sun sets, the sky grows dark. You'll start to see twinkling stars. What you're looking at is just a tiny part of space. And so again, since it's beginner, it's not going to go into too much detail, but just enough to answer some of the basic questions your kiddos may have. And again, beautifully illustrated. Look at those pages. And again, you're going to keep hearing me saying it, but a lot of our books, nice and thick, glossy, easy cleanup, very durable. Our next is one of my favorites. This is Cordelia. Um, this doesn't just have to be for a little girl. It could also be for a little boy. And this just talks about... Um, basically believing in yourself and don't listen to bullies and don't let people get you down. I just want to show you some of the pages. I don't want to give away the story or the ending, but it's basically just a very nice believe in yourself book about a little girl named Cordelia. And some of our books actually come with a stuffed animal as well. And Cordelia is one of those books. I do not have her with me though today, but you can see Cuddle Bear behind me his book and uh, the stuffed animal. The next one is one of our many in our series, uh, Shine the Light books. This one is Wonders 
of the USA. And so the concept behind these is a child would be in their bed reading at night and they would have their little flashlight with them. Let's see if I can coordinate this. And they basically, they would shine the light behind them. I'm not doing a very good job, am I? <laughs> but basically they would shine a light behind this picture and the image would come through. And unfortunately, since it's daylight, the image isn't going through very well, but I'll just read this to you. So in a classroom, children are learning about the United States. What do you think the teacher is showing them? So then when they would shine the light behind it, they would see the map of the United States. And then when they turn the page, then they would obviously see that image. So again, one in a uh, of many different subjects for our shine light books. We have one about an apple tree, one about uh, in the garage about mechanics, just a really cute series. The next one is part of our reading library. So now we're getting into kiddos who are just starting to read. I love these books. These were huge for my son who is um, a delayed reader and it was just uh, really just painful for him to read. He found it um, very frustrating. I love these books. These books are awesome because on the first page you have part of the story where the parent reads and then on the other page you have simple words for the child to read. So the child doesn't feel like they're reading the whole book. They're sharing the book basically with their parents so it doesn't seem like so much work. So again one page for the parent, the alternate page for the child. And then what I also love about these is at the end, it has a couple puzzles. So puzzles are always fun to kids, but it's also testing, did they comprehend what was going on with the story? And were they really paying attention? So I, I love these books. I can't say enough about them. Again, you can't buy these individually. They do come as part of a library. Um, there's three different sizes um, for all kinds of budgets. So, um, and in the beginning, it talks about how the book works. So great parents um, reference in here uh, to help the parent out. The next one also is for our early readers. This is part of our phonics readers. These do come um, individually sold or in a set. So they have all cute titles like Underpants for Ants and Mole in a Hole. And these are just great rhyming books. You can even start these books as early as three years old because kiddos are just attracted to that rhyming pattern, right? So hot water bottles would be nice. Our bottoms feel as cold as ice. Super cute books. Super, super cute. The next one, again, Young Beginners. We have all different topics for these. This one happens to be dinosaurs. We have dogs, cats, firefighters, uh, space, um, our bodies, you name it. I think we have it. We have a lot in this series. So again, beautiful illustrated pages. Nonfiction is going to teach your kiddo a lot. The next one is one of our great activity books. We have so many activity books it was hard to choose. But this one, 100 Things to Do on a Car Trip. Oh boy, how long are those car trips when you're 10 minutes in and the children are always complaining, you know, already complaining that they have nothing to do. So this is a great book. It has all different kinds of activities from doodling to tic-tac-toe to crossword searches. Just a great book to keep them busy and to not make the trip feel so long for you. Um, these are one of our early chapter books. So when your kiddos start getting the chapter books, this is our Billy B. Brown series. These are just really cute Again, you can see more words on the page, but still not as much short chapters. Billy B. Brown. The next one is they get more advanced, The Secret Mermaid. This is part of the series. So again, you can see the words are becoming more and more on each page, but still some illustrations in there to break it up so it doesn't feel so daunting. We have so many great chapter books. This is just one of the many. We also have just started putting out graphic novels. This is my daughter loved this one. This is Robin Hood. So look at how beautiful that is. Comic books are, are just huge right now. So we have three. This is just one of the three. 
then next we have our creative writers handbook so this one is awesome just giving ideas so if your kiddo is stumped on what to write how to begin what to write about this just gives a nice hints and tips just trying to flip through as many pages as I can how to write a report poetry this is just such a great companion when they have to start writing um, writing for assignments about their fiction or nonfiction books last but not least this is the Phoenix Files this is a chapter book for kiddos 14 and up I told you we had stuff for teenagers right people just think we just have things for toddlers so again more difficult language no pictures but that's all right 14 year olds don't need pictures right <laughs> so again part of a wonderful series this is Phoenix Files I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing just some of the very few books that Usborne has to offer and hopefully you saw something in there for your kiddo.